Voters will have an opportunity to decide on a $454.4 million bond proposal to address growth, safety and facility improvements in Leander ISD for the next four to five years. I have a motion by Will and a second by Jim if there are further discussion. The seven-member elected Board of Trustees called for a November 7th bond election after a community-driven process that looked at the entire 200-square-mile district serving over 39,000 students in 42 schools. Leander ISD anticipates growth of about 1,200 students per year, on top of the additional 11,828 new students since the district's last election in 2007. 155 volunteers and leaders in the Leander ISD community served on a bond advisory committee to review and select projects for this bond, making a recommendation to the Board of Trustees who ultimately called for the election. The bond election is called. The following information is an overview of projects included in this bond. $96.7 million in the bond goes toward high school projects, including renovations and construction of a new building at Vandegrift High School to expand the building's capacity to serve 2,900 students, adjusting for growth over the next 10 years. The proposal also includes the addition of career and technical education classrooms and renovations at Leander, Glen, and Vandegrift High Schools for agriculture science. Vista Ridge for JROTC, Cedar Park and Leander for CTE Lab Space, and Vandegrift and Vista Ridge for CTE Incubator Classrooms to support entrepreneurship programs. For Athletics and Arts, the bond includes projects to renovate the Leander High School Black Box, replace the bleachers at Cedar Park High School Stadium, and expand the bleachers at Monroe Stadium. Safety improvement projects include the Cedar Park and Leander softball fields, securing front entryways at all high schools, and a secondary access road into Vandegrift and Four Points Middle School to address safety. The bond includes funding for design and planning pending approval by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. $117.5 million goes toward middle school projects, including design, construction, and furnishings for the district's ninth middle school, planned between Baghdad Road and 183 north of San Gabriel Parkway. The bond addresses building improvements and HVAC systems at Cedar Park and Leander Middle Schools, including the construction of a permanent building to replace old portable buildings at Leander Middle School. For safety, the bond includes construction of secure entryways at all middle schools. $172.5 million goes toward elementary schools, including the design, construction, and furnishings for three new schools, the 27th, 28th, and 29th elementary schools in Leander ISD. Those schools will serve families in the northern part of Leander ISD, from Baghdad Road to County Road 175 to accommodate for growth along the Ronald Reagan Boulevard corridor. The bond includes HVAC and improvements to Giddens and Steiner Ranch Elementary Schools, as well as improvements to the recess and physical education area at Mason Elementary School. The bond proposal includes proactive funding for land purchases or designs for future schools in high, middle, and elementary. Buying land for future schools allows the district to save on inflation costs as land prices increase. For technology, the bond includes $38.7 million, covering new devices for middle and high school teachers and students, elementary school teachers and classrooms, and updated phones, printers, and network infrastructure, including fiber cabling. To address growth, the bond includes the construction of an additional transportation facility for the northern part of the district and the purchase of 88 new buses to replace old buses and add additional vehicles to the fleet. Texas school districts call elections for approval to borrow money to build new schools and buildings, improve buildings, purchase land or capital equipment, and refresh or add technology. 
There are two portions of a property owner's tax bill that go toward public schools. Maintenance and operations, or M&O, fund annual operational costs, mostly attributed to salaries. For Leander ISD, 86% of M&O collections fund salaries. The district spends most of its money directly in classrooms with an administrative cost ratio of 4%. Leander ISD maintains a $1.04 M&O tax rate. For bond programs, school districts pay down debt with its Interest and Sinking Tax Rate, or I&S. Leander ISD has maintained a rate of $0.47 cents for I&S for six years. If voters approve the bond proposition, Leander ISD does not plan to increase the tax rate due to property value growth and debt management strategies. Residents ages 65 and older have frozen property taxes and rising taxable values may not impact their tax bill. I'm Superintendent of Schools Dan Troxell. Through a community-led program focused on addressing growth, safety and facility improvements, Leander ISD will hold a bond election on Tuesday, November 7th. Early voting is October 23rd through November the 3rd. If you have any questions about the Leander ISD bond proposition, LeanderISD.org slash bond2017 features a frequently asked questions section and links to our Let's Talk program, which connects you with information.